back to Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Sarah Buck. With the winter holidays behind us, it's time for my second favorite holiday, Girl Scout Cookie Time. Here to tell us about what to expect in 2016 are our friends from the Girl Scout Council of Colonial Coast, Caitlin and Christina. Hi, Hi welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. Christina, I'm so happy you're here today. Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Where do you go to school? What grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade and I go to Hugo Owens Middle. And what troop number? Troop 4077. So tell me what's your favorite part about being a Girl Scout? I like all the adventures and community service activities we get to do. And you like selling cookies too, I hear. Yes. Yep, so we are in Girl Scout cookie sales time right now. Um, Caitlin, why don't you tell me about, a little bit about the timeline for cookies this well, year? Well, girls just started taking orders, so you may have had some come knocking on your door. Um, and then the cookies will actually arrive to the region in mid-February. The exciting thing is with our digital cookie, which is the online platform that girls can use to sell cookies, um, a girl you know might send you an email. You can order cookies online, pay for them, activate shipping, and they'll be to your doorstep in just a couple of business days. So if you can't wait until February, you can get them in just a few days. Well, Christine, I might be calling you to get your link so I can get my cookies <laughs> early. Uh, what's your favorite part about booth sales? My favorite is it's help our Girl Scouts and it helps to get our name out about Girl Scout cookies. Mm -hmm. And do you like to interact with the people that come and purchase yes. cookies? Yeah. Now something really cool you all were telling me about was that you can now take credit cards at the booths, right? Yes. Yep. So what is that gonna, what's that going to do for you? That is going to help with some people that don't carry change around and just have credit cards. That can help with them for instead of carrying change and carry their plastic credit cards. Nice, I like it. So Caitlin, what else? I know cookie sales, everyone gets excited because it's cookie time, but really what does, what does that do for the girls? Well, of course, people enjoy getting our cookies because they taste so great, but there's mm -hmm. a lot more than buying when you buy a box of cookies. The girls are learning how to manage the money that they earn. They're making decisions, they're setting goals, they're learning people skills and business ethics as well, which is all really important. And another thing with Girl Scout cookies is an opportunity to see Girl Scout cookies in a whole new light with a Samoa soiree. Yes. I got that out. Um, tell me a little bit about that. I know you've had a few years of uh, that event and it's been very successful. Yeah, this is actually our eighth Samoa soiree. So we have top chefs from all over Hampton Roads coming to use Girl Scout cookies to make unique desserts and appetizers. They get really creative with what they make and it's a fun night. We have live music, we have a silent auction. So it's a great night to support Girl Scouts and just enjoy yourself. Now I'm looking at my cheat sheet here and two of the winners last year. Now you think cookies, you think desserts, right. but um, stuffed shrimp over quinoa stir fry using Savannah Smiles cookies. Right, which is our lemon cookie. Yeah, so that was Chef Kyle Folks mm -hmm. from um, MSC Sweets in Hampton. And then um, Chef Bob from Farm Fresh Supermarkets, he used Samoas to make golden lamb chops and mashed sweet potatoes. Yes. That's amazing. Yes, and like you said, those are two of our winners from last year. They'll both be back at this year's event, which is March 5th, to defend their title. So we're looking forward to what they come up with this year. Wow. Have you ever experienced with your cookies at home, or do you just just eat them? Cookies and milk? I like to crush my Thin Mints and ice cream. That's what we do sometimes, and then we also freeze them. Mm -hmm. And then we have them with um, some of our ice cream, and then we like, put it on tart to make our own little dessert. Little ice cream sandwiches, and yeah, yeah. delicious. Well, um, I know we're talking a lot about cookie time, but 2016 is really an exciting year for the Girl Scouts for another reason. Why don't you tell me about that? We are celebrating the 100th anniversary of the top award in Girl Scouting, which is now called the Gold Award. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what girls earn through doing some sort of sustainable community service project. And they really make a difference in their community. They find a need, they take action, and we're really excited to celebrate 100 years of girls earning this award. That's great. And um, Christina, you recently got your silver award, so you're yes. getting closer and closer to gold. What did you do for your silver award? project? It was called Silver Food Fighters. It's, um, I hosted an event to spread the word and I had where it was a safe trick-or-treating event for kids that had food allergies so they can come out with and get their little toys and play games and have no food around. Uh, give me a high five. That is awesome. That is wonderful. Well, I'm so proud of you and everything that you've done. Stick with it. Have a great time. Caitlin, anything we want to leave our viewers with today? Well, if, you, if people want to get any more information about cookies or the Samoa Soiree, you can visit our website, which is gsccc.org. Also, if you want to look for cookies, there's a cookie finder app on girlscoutcookies.org, and you can find girls selling cookies near you. Great. Make room in your freezer. 
and uh, check out cookie booth sales. Uh, talk to your local Girl Scouts and check out the website and see everything that Girl Scouts are doing here in Hampton Roads. Thanks so much for watching. For Hot Ticket, I'm Sarah Buck.